Okay, so this last section is about uh, permutations in a line, that is people standing in a line or sitting in a line. And we look at the different questions that we have here. The first one says that a team of three boys and three girls has to be chosen from a group of 12 boys and nine girls to enter a competition. Tom and Henry are two of the boys in the group. Find the number of ways in which the team can be chosen. If Tom and Henry are either both in the team or both not in the team so either i want and so this was basically a question on combinations and not exactly a, a question on permutations okay so what i'm going to do is i am going to separate tom and henry and i'm going to say that there are 10 other boys nine girls there's one tom and this one henry and what i want to do is i want to select either both Tom and Henry. In that case, I'll be selecting three other girls and only one other boy. In case that I don't select Tom and Henry both because they have to be either both on the team or not on the team, I will then be selecting in this order. So my answer is 10C1 into 9C3 into 1C1 into 1C1, which gives me 840 or I could have 10c3 into 9c3 and 1c1, 1c0 and 1c0 gives me 1 so 10c3 into 9c3 gives me 1080 if I add both together I get 10920 has 12 seats, all of which are empty, a group of eight people, including Mary and Francis, sit in this row. Find the number of different ways they can sit in these 12 seats if there are no restrictions. Now, uh, this is then a question on permutations. Now, what I can do is either I can select eight seats. There are two ways of doing this question. I can either I can say that they are going to select eight seats that they want to sit on. So out of 12, they're selecting eight seats and then they will arrange themselves. And that is going to give me 12C8 into eight factorial. And then gives me the correct answer, 1995-8400. There is another way of looking at this question as well. And this is important because I can then say that, that let's say there are uh, a total of 12 seats. So I can then go on and say that this is 12 factorial. I am arranging all 12 seats. And since four of these seats are empty, they are identical empty seats. So I'm going to divide by four factorial. And you see, I'm going to end up with the same answer. So it can be dealt with in either, uh, with in either way. Either you arrange the empty seats and then divide by the identical number of empty seats or you can choose the seats that you want to sit on and then arrange yourself. Okay, the second strategy is useful for the next question as well. It says Mary and Francis do not sit in seats which are next to each other. So I am going to separate the 10 other seats that I have and I'm going to leave two spaces for Mary and Francis. Okay, so these are 10 other seats. I'm going to say 10 factorial. I know that four of these seats are empty, so four factorial. What Mary and Francis are going to do is either they're going to sit here, here, here. They're going to pick out their seats that they want and they're going to sit there and then they're going to arrange themselves as well. So there are 11 different arrows there they could sit. And I would say that this becomes 11, 11 c2 into 2 factorial 2 factorial because they will arrange themselves after they've chosen their seats i get a total of 1663200 part 3 All eight people sit together with no empty seats in between. So what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to do this.
I'm going to put a box around eight of these seats. And I'm going to say that there are one, two, three, four, and five. One, the box is also a dash. So I'm going to arrange five dashes. I'm going to say five factorial. Then I'm going to go inside the box and say eight factorial and then divide it by another four factorial because there are four identical empty seats. Okay, and I get a total of two zero one six double zero. Okay, so this next example says four families go to a theme park together. Mr. and Mrs. Lace didn't take the two children. Mr. O'Connor takes his two children. Mr. and Mrs. Emma take the three children. Mrs. Burton takes her son. The 14 people all have to go through 10 style one at a time to enter the theme park. In how many different orders can the 14 people go through the 10 style if each family stays together? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make dashes and then put them into boxes. So there are four families, Mr. and Mrs. Lynn and the two children. So I put a box around them. Then Mr. Corner takes his two children, so three people and a box around them. And Mr. and Mrs. Emmett take their three children, so a box around them as well. And Mrs. Burton takes her son, so a box around. Mrs. Burton and her son as well. So what I have is I have four boxes. I will shuffle around those boxes and say four factory. Then I'm going to go inside the boxes. So the first box had four people, so four factorial. The second box had three people, so three factorial. The third box had five people, so five factorial. And then two factorial. I'm not going to divide by anything because there are no identical people. Everyone is distinct, so you don't divide. Eight two nine four four zero. Let's look at part two. Part two says, uh, In how many different orders can the eight children and six adults go through the tennis style if no two adults go consecutively? That means that the adults have to be separated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first place the children and then draw arrows for adults. So uh, the first family had two children. The second family also had two children. The third family had three children. And the fourth family had only one child. Okay, that makes a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight children. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say it's eight factorial. Then for the adults, I'm going to say that there are arrows that they need to fit on. There are six adults that I'm talking about. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Lynn, Mr. O'Connor, Mr. and Mrs. Amit, and Mrs. Burton. So these eight people can then choose out of these nine arrows and say, 9c6 into 6 factorial. That gives me 2438553600, which is the same as what's given above. Part 3 says. Once inside the theme park, the children can go on a roller coaster. Each coaster holds three people. And how many ways can the eight children be divided into two groups of three and one group of two? So I start dividing the children. First, I choose a group of three. I am then left with five children. Five children then have to go into a group of three again. And then those remaining two have to go into a group of two. So once I've sorted out all the children, I can then calculate. Five hundred and sixty.